Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another episode of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Still can't believe that Henry was here as a zombie. How the hell did he get down from that tree? Anyway, let's see what we have to do today. Uh, wait for Casey to reach out again on channel 61. Uh, pass the time until the lantern is lit. Um, the lantern is not lit. Um, let's see if Casey is at home. Uh, come in, my man. Hey, Casey. Hey, Casey. You there? Yeah, always here. Always thinking. My mind is always swirling with something these days. It's impossible to shut it down. Calm down, Mormon. Doesn't make sense to get all worked up. If you want to survive, you need to focus. Steady your mind. Yeah, well, I guess. But, you know, hey, this morning I realized something. I can't even remember the last time I saw the sky. It's been a while, at least that much I know. Months. Wish I would have paid more attention. You ever been to the Badlands up in South Dakota? Nope. Never been. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Like another planet. My mom used to drive me through there every summer on the way to see my uncle. The night sky was so bright. So many stars, like a dome overhead. Crystal clear view of the cosmos. That put a lot of things in perspective for me back when I really needed it. How insignificant we really are in the grand scheme of things. How my troubles, no matter how big they may seem, really don't mean squat. I mean, well, what are troubles anyway, huh? The universe doesn't know the meaning of the word. I wish I had that Badland sky overhead right about now. You know, the first thing I'm gonna do when free is head back north. I think I've had enough of swamp life. I don't blame you. You mentioned your mom and your uncle. Well, my uncle died a while ago. I miss him a ton. We were friends. I looked up to him. I never really knew my dad, so... Yeah, he kind of stepped in. When he could. My mom and I, uh, We didn't always get along. No clue what happened to my mom, actually. <laughs> when I left home and joined the guard, we weren't speaking, which... That's fine by me. She never thought too much of me. Didn't think I'd ever amount to anything. <laughs> the verdict is still out, I suppose. Uh... What was the problem with you and your mom? Typical only child bullshit. Smothering me one second, cutting me down the next. I hated her for it. Reminded her of my dad, so she hated me for that. Look, Torres, uh, I've had enough of the therapy session. I don't feel like talking anymore. I'm gonna go put my head down for a bit. I'll talk to you soon. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. You got me running around in all kinds of danger. And you want to go for a lie down? I don't know. Call please some people coming. 47. Let's see if there's any intel. Or caches or something. Hello? No. Oh. Let's see. I don't know if we can travel out. But I'll give it a go. Let's go back to bed. 
this right I'm gonna have a drinking problem I really want to upgrade that that this bag Got stuff in it. Let's empty the bag. We need any more bullets actually. Let's see if we can craft some bullets. Yes. Ugh. At least we got some bullets anyway. The scout is sleeping. Supply located. Bastion. Hello. Come in, tourist. Meds discovered. How are you on this Memorial channel, Casey? Lane. Do you read me? Come in. Morning, sunshine. You around? How was you on channel 47, man? I'm here, Casey. What's up? I've located another flow regulator. We needed to repair the second pump, and guess what? I woke up this morning with water up to my ankles, so that sucks. <laughs> Time is slipping away from me faster than I expected. Did you wee wee yourself? <laughs> no, I just swim. <laughs> what area is the regulator in? I'll track it down. The regulator is in Bywater, blue collar part of town. There are warehouses, auto repair shops, small homes shoved in where possible. There's a huge lumber yard there, too. From what I heard through tower radio chatter, a bunch of valuable machinery was discovered in a storeroom. No specifics, though. You're gonna have to poke around. Oh, and I looked into the key you mentioned. I hate to say it, but we need it. Only way to access the final pump station. So you should keep things cool with May for the time being. I'll be as cool as the other side of the pillow, Casey. <laughs> I believe it. And hey, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you're doing for me. It's nice to know someone has my back for once. <laughs> Beginning to believe I actually might survive this. There was a time when, um... Uh, never mind. I, I'm trying to keep the dark thoughts out. Don't you stick to your agreement, small mate? Well, I'll have a problem. You're welcome. Glad to help. Just hit me up when you've snagged the pump part from Bywater. I'll do my best to stay dry in the meantime. I might try to elevate my con a few feet so I don't wake up floating. Talk to you soon, tourist. Stay safe up there. Always am. See you later, Casey. Right. Travel to Bywater. Yeah. About water. Welcome to Bar Water. 
That's a lovely sun there. Um. Oh. What happened there? Find the regulator dial. Find the pump regulator body. Talk to locals for clues about the pump parts. Oh my god. Hello! This wants to say hello to. Hello. Come up there. <laughs> Must be a door. Hello. Please. Because you said please. We have to keep our voices down. I'm in a bind and I need a third party to set some wheels in motion. Someone unaligned. Nothing shady, I swear. Okay. You've got my attention? What do you need? Meet me on the opposite side of this building. Can't risk being overheard or seen. Where do you want me to go, my man? It's like have an armed guard escorting you to the secure location of the meeting. Oh, okay, my mate. I'm gonna light. There's a lot of cigarettes lying around to say that people are nervous around zombies. Hello again. You made it. Good. <sighs> okay, here's the deal. I used to be with the tower, and I was happy there. Really. But I got a tendency to get mouthy, and there were some things I saw that didn't sit right with me. So I spoke my mind. My boyfriend warned me, but I didn't listen. Huh? I thought I could get through to these people, but whatever. Long story short, they kicked my ass out. I connected with the reclaimed out of necessity to survive. But I don't belong with them. I belong with Justin. He and I... We need to put all this tower and reclaim bullshit behind us. We need to make our own way. That is very true. This is between you and your boyfriend. Why should I get involved? I ain't gonna blow smoke up your ass. Ask you to help because you believe in love. I know how this works. I've written Justin a letter. Lays out my plan for us to reunite, then jet. You play poster worker, get him the letter, then we can talk reward. Time is working against us. I'm afraid one of us might bite it before we see each other again. Tower and Reclaim don't exactly get along, as I'm sure you know. So, you can see the dilemma. If the guy who runs my patrol finds out I'm communicating with the Tower, that's it for me. Walker Fu, Justin is stationed with the Tower Patrol in the area. Tom's Lumberyard just across the way. Fuck. If things get crazy, we might accidentally kill each other. It's fucked up. Can you watch your language? I have this problem with the other one. I end up killing him. I'm not in the habit of running errands for strangers without knowing what my take is. I'll make it simple. I need parts for a pump. Got any leads? I've got THE lead. Industrial shit galore stocked up in a nearby warehouse next to this auto shop we're posted up in. Place is infested with walkers at the loading dock entrance, but there is a way in on the side. 
From there, you can slip right on past the fuckers without much trouble. I stashed the key to the side door somewhere safe. I'll have it when you return. Here's the letter. Meet me back here after the letter's been delivered. I'm sure Justin will scribble a reply. He's not quite the poet I am, but I still love the guy. Nah. Get out of my face. Oh. Whoa. Shove this where the sun don't shine. That came out wrong. I'm sorry. Hello. Um, wise, yes, baby. <sighs> He's at the wood plant straight down. <sighs> Sit by, baby. You take care of him. God damn. Don't hang around too long. I won't. I need to get up there. I think. Hello. What are you doing around here? You need something? Yeah. I'm looking for Justin. Need to deliver something. That you? Yeah, I'm Justin. What do you have? I have this, my man. Hey, big brother. There's not much to say beyond I'm sorry, but I have to do this. I can't say. Devon asked me to deliver this letter to you. Everyone's listening. That's my bad, sorry. Here you go. Much appreciated. Here. You're welcome. Please deliver my response to Devon, and that's the last that we'll ask of you. Write it down. That was quick. Do you mind if I nick some supplies? Ooh, what does this do? Take this with me. Ooh, choo choo. Yeah. What's going on here? And it might seem to you like the right thing to do, helping out a couple of star-crossed lovers. But you are putting their lives in jeopardy. Devon allowed his attitude to choose his path, but Justin doesn't deserve to be dragged down with him. We've been through a lot of shit together. I don't want anything horrible to happen to him. They need a clean break. No more contact. If they keep this up, they will both be dead. I'm sure Justin gave you a letter for Devon. That's how they've been staying in touch. Deliver this letter instead. It will end things between them. Then they can get on with their lives. Seems sketchy. I'm not sure it's my place to decide the fate of their relationship. They're adults. Oh, oh please. They are risking their lives. If you don't do what is right, their blood will be on your hands. Listen, baby. Let's go out on and a I knew you were shady. Alright, let's go and find a lover. Down. 
The bug's almost full. I need that upgrade. Yeah. You're doing a good job. Yeah, it is. Well, first, I'm out there. Hello. Oh. Run away. Yes, baby. You so tough. You too straight up. Uh, where's Dr Evie's? Hello. You made it back. Of God, course. I hope nobody saw you. Did Justin send a reply? Maybe. Sorry, there's a zombie there. Here it is. He was glad to hear from you. Thank you so much. You're this welcome. This letter made my day. Hell, it made my life. Justin and I, we're gonna do this. We're really gonna do this. You made a difference today, stranger. I owe you. Here's that key I promised. Hopefully That's gonna make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. Yes, it will. Uh, where do I go for this? Okay. I was, I was gonna kill him. Where do I go now? Access. These things just keep coming. Don't hang, hang around too long. Oh, my babes. The zombies in there. It's got to be in there. Oh, I go in that one. Can we climb up? Yes. Aha. Oh, yeah. Ask me, I'm good. Hello. No, no. Ooh, what is that?
That's what this is like. It's <laughs> money, you lose your head. Hey, your friends, man. Can get rid of smoke, sort of smoke. Ooh, drugs. Before I do go, let's see where the skiff is. Maybe we'll have time. Oh, drugs. Oh, let's go. I have a good time. What I thought it would have been a junk box or something. Ten minutes to go. Yeah, me. Could I got more, man? Out for a stroll. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I think it's wise to be wandering around. Be wandering around. <sighs> With this, yeah. Should you get yourself one of these girls. Hello. Out for a stroll? Walk yes, baby. Eyes up for more. I got this, baby. I'm just gonna die. Trip your head off. Go take it anyway. Let's go. Back to the bus. Right. Let's see if um, Casey's there ready to talk. And let's see if May's turn the light on. Which I'm hoping she has. No, I don't think she has. In a minute, case. Ooh, 
collectible. Mystic Q. Choo choo. Up here. Ah, very nice. Actually, when I was at that place, I should have got some photo frames to make it more homely. Stick you. So you don't want to keep seeing his face. Stick you there. Ah, very nice. Um, nom nom <coughs> nom. Right. Casey, coming in, son. Casey, come in. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Manual open to the appropriate page. You ready? No. Let's do this. Great. Uh, let's start with the serial number again. Then I can calculate the flow requirement settings. Just like the first time through this. Five six two seven nine three. Six dash four two. Okay, uh, let me look at these charts a second. So here we go. Got it. Set valve A to twenty six. Valve A set to twenty six. Numbers green. Okay, good. Uh, valve B with A at twenty six should be set at thirty nine. Valve B to thirty nine. Valve B to thirty nine. Yeah. Set. Two numbers green, A and B. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. <laughs> valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. All numbers green. Now the button, right? Yeah. Uh, press the round button and we'll be calibrated. He's <laughs> done. When this is all over, we should start a plumbing business, huh? The, the, the bunker buds. No. Huh. Nope. Got bigger plans. Well, fair enough. Not everyone wants to be a small business owner. Dream big. I get it. Anyways, this regulator needs to be installed in another pump near St. Vincent's. Same routine with the beacon light. It'll be on, so be ready for walkers skulking about. And once it's installed and you're back at the radio, let's touch base. Good luck. Gonna spend the rest of my day figuring out how to prevent the flood water from shorting out my radio. I'll talk to you soon. And I'll spend the rest of my evening trying not to get killed. Uh, I'm gonna take some more of this. Take two this time. Alright. Do my exercises. Right, so. Plenty. No, if it's just walkers, it's gonna be fine. Put some of that blood on my face. Stroll right in. Then stroll back out again. You. I hate goddamn zombies. In dark alleyways, it's just. It's just not normal. Can't see a thing. Oh, 
that must be the pump. It's a beautiful night though, isn't it? cover myself now. Blowing, I can see. Nope. Oh. Should be down there. Yeah. Woo woo. Near that other slot. So this bad boy can do. Gun, my knife down on me. I ain't you, Casey. Oh, don't want to do that again. Watch. See, as soon as I get back to camp, my stamina rebuilds, even though I'm still running. Oh, dear. I hope on right back. No. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's episode. Airs on my arms and still standing up. Um, tomorrow we'll try and speak to KC and hopefully my light should be back on. Hopefully. They need this one after all.
Um, yeah, so join us for another episode tomorrow. Why not put that in there? Join us again tomorrow for another episode. I'll finish off what I'm saying in a sec. Let's see. Right. Join us tomorrow for another episode of The Walking Dead, Sands and Sinners. If you haven't already, could you please show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel? Because we want to get to 100. Is it a possibility? Mm. Please, Lord. Alright, uh, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Au revoir.